All right, so here we got Ethereum on Coinbase on the one hour. As you see, we've broken out of that purple region, got that nice pump, came back down, retested that purple region. We did break below that 21, but we're back above it right now. We are being held up by the 21. So if we do fall, I think we come back down to this 50, um, possibly get a wick, you know, just kind of bounce around, liquidate everybody right now. We are in the neutral zone of the RSI. Uh, we did come up for the re, uh, had a retest and another rejection off that signal line. We need to get back above 1989.20 in order to cross that signal line to the upside. Major moving averages, your 50 and your 21 did cross that 100. Uh, and this just happened on the pullback, the 50 and the 200, which would be a one hour golden cross. Uh, so... Came back down, retested the purple region. Now it seems like we're resuming up. Did get another rejection. Possibly, uh, well, we did get a lower high. So as long as we don't get a lower low, we're still in good shape. Now we're dancing around right now on this POC point of control on the VPVR. We are below it at the moment. But if we don't break the 21, we could just resume up from here. If we do break this last high at 2016, we could go up to the 2100 level like we've been talking about. Yeah, uh, MACD, negative momentum. Well, I'm kind of neutral on that right now. I want to see what this MACD line does with this signal line. We need to get back above 2052 in order to cross that signal line. Not too far off, 100 bucks. We'll see what happens. The vol's in the lower zone, right? Or uh, BBWP is in the lower zone right now. So your vol is pretty contracted. We are below that moving average on the BBWP. So we're going to see what happens there. All right. So the bullish case for Ethereum. By the way, if you guys are liking this content, like and subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification so you can stay tuned to this time sensitive content. Um, so bullish case would be we break this last wick. 2016 on a one hour closure we break that on a one hour closure there's a lot of hot air and, and we'll probably go up to 2100 pretty quick bearish case is that we break this 50 in this purple region i would expect a small bounce from the bottom of this red region but honestly if we fall below all this i think we would break this and come all the way down to the 100 that's not to say that we're just going to fall down though you know we don't want to see no like head and shoulders type pattern now but, uh, you know, that, that would, we'd have to come all the way down to the 200 and then bounce up into this purple region, which, which could be pretty probable if we do start to break down. A lot of this is going to depend on what Bitcoin does as well, you know. So, those are my thoughts for Ethereum. Let's move on to Solana. Ethereum and Solana are both down a little bit today. You know, Ethereum is down 1.5%. Solana's down two and a half percent. Okay, now Solana does not look as good. We couldn't even make it up to this POC point of control in the VPVR or this purple region. Definitely got front ran. Um, your RSI is in the neutral zone. You did enter the bearish control zone there for a second, came up to the signal line. You're getting rejected on this tick. So we'll find out whether we can cross it to the upside which would also cross that neutral median line, which would be a good sign. That could probably lead us back above the 21. Your MACD is testing. Okay, so it looks like we're trying to cross this zero line right now. Uh, downside curvature is pretty strong. Your, ne your negative momentum's, you know, lightening up a little bit. That really doesn't mean shit right now because you're pretty neutral. Your vol is kind of going sideways. You need to get back above this last high. You did make a lower low, all right? You, we've made a lower low now. We've actually made two lower lows. Um, so basically, in order for us to be bullish at all, we need to get back above 46.89. But really, I'd like to see us get in this purple region and all the way up to this POC point of control, which is basically at the start of your breakdown point, you know, your second breakdown point from this level. Um, and yeah, so bullish case. Yeah, so we covered the bullish case, bearish case. But this is that we break this 100. If we break this 100, I think we come all the way back down to 42.31. Break that level. 
I do think we'd make a lower low past 40.50 all the way down to the depths, $34, even $35, uh, possibly even lower, anywhere from $34 to $35, uh, so to the depths. So those are my thoughts for Solana and Ethereum. Uh, yeah, definitely turn on your notifications. Stay tuned to this time-sensitive content. Everyone have a great morning, great afternoon, great evening, and I will see you tomorrow.